Today, I'm going to be talking about the Dreyfus Affair. First off, in the Third Republic of France, there was many different scandals and affairs. But the Dreyfus Affair was the single most traumatic that happened during the Third Republic era. Captain Alfred Dreyfus was found guilty of passing information to the German army. This information was highly secret. The evidence that was used against Dreyfus was very faulty, kinda, and it didn't really convict him, truly. But someone was passing on information to the Germans, and because Dreyfus was Jewish, it proved him to be the perfect scapegoat. Since Captain Alfred Dreyfus was found guilty, he was sent to a notorious prison in French Guiana called Devil's Island. While he was in prison, there was still being information passed to the Germans. This almost proved Dreyfus's innocence, but not completely. So a new head to the counterintelligence agency re-examined Dreyfus's file. He found that there was a forgery in the evidence and that Dreyfus was actually innocent. A new officer was convicted of the crime, but since he was convicted in a military court, he was soon acquitted. When this new officer was acquitted, this caused almost pure hysterical debate amongst the French citizens. The French Catholic Church, Army, and many anti-Semitist newspaper organizations really believed that Alfred Dreyfus was guilty. In the beginning of the fair, this anti-Dreyfus belief was very popular. But in 1898, Emile Zola wrote, I accuse. This exposed the government for not giving Dreyfus due process in his trial. Zola was then convicted of libel and escaped to England to evade his imprisonment and its punishment. Many people jumped on the bandwagon of Zola. Zola was only one of numerous uh, liberals, socialists, and political radicals that backed Dreyfus and his cause. They backed his cause mostly because they would increase their own public image, and also because they could expose the conservative government that was in power now. They exposed the conservative government because they said that the conservative government did not give Dreyfus the real trial that he deserved and the due process that he deserved. They said that they did not give Dreyfus the rights of any citizen of the Republic. They also claimed that Dreyfus was falsely accused only to protect the person that actually did it. He was falsely accused by, the own, by the, their own French military because they did not want someone from their military to be guilty of this crime. In 1898, after re-examination of evidence, it proved to be forged. The officer that forged this evidence soon committed suicide in jail because of the forgery that he committed. Dreyfus had another trial, but was soon convicted. Soon after, the president of France pardoned Dreyfus, and then again in 1906, another trial happened in the military court that proved both parties to be innocent. The Dreyfus case divided France just like the Paris Commune did. The conservatives were on edge because they allowed an innocent man to go to prison. They were very anti-Semitic, and also because they used forged evidence that convicted Dreyfus. The Dreyfus Affair created many different political separations and uprisings. These uprisings from the Dreyfus Affair would last until France's defeat by Germany in 1940.